and hello YouTube, this is GS Pam Smart, and today on a brand new video for Tutorials with GS. Now today's tutorial, we're taking a look at Audacity and how to create a dynamic volume change effect right here in Audacity. It's very easy to do. It's just using one of these tools at the top. Up until now, you've only really known, if you've been watching my Audacity tutorials, you've only really known how to change the volume of, an, of a track in its entirety, changing the entire track's volume, either higher or lower, or you've only really known how to uh, lower volume or increase volume by splitting the track into sections and then increasing or decreasing its volume based off of that. But there's actually a way to dynamically change volume where at one point it starts at 100 and then gradually it decreases to like 50% volume. There is a way to do that and it's using something called the envelope tool up here. Now if you ever accidentally click this you might have seen this right here where you have the blue lines at the top and at the bottom highlighting your track sort of you might have always thought what is this why, why is this popping up and this is basically what it's used for to create dynamic volume changes now uh, it sort of works very similar to keyframes in the Adobe products if you've ever used an Adobe product there's a lot of keyframing it sort of works the exact same way so if you're familiar with that then it should be very easy if not essentially what this envelope tool allows you to do it um, allows you to plot points at the top of your track here. So right at the top here, you can plot a point, and um, I won't do it right now because I don't want to have extra points, but I'll show you in a second. It allows you to click and plot points, and then you're able to uh, change the height of the point to change the volume. So I'm going to show you that in just a second, but before, I want to show you guys what this actually sounds like. So here I have a recording of an intro, a fake little intro that I have, and then some music in the background here. Now, if you take a listen to what this sounds like right now, it sounds pretty terrible. So you can't even hear my voice, the music is far too loud, so we want to uh, lower the volume right around here, the music when I'm talking, and we want to keep the volume high to enjoy the music before I'm talking. So we're going to go ahead and grab our envelope, to, uh, envelope tool up here, and then you want to make a point of where you want the music to be at its lowest state. So I want the music to be at its lowest state right around here. And you'll see that makes a little white dot right there. Now, right before it, you want to place another point where you want it to start changing. And I want it to start changing right around maybe a second, a second and a half before. So right around there, a second and a half before, like so. You place another dot and you see we now have two dots. Now what you can do is on your second dot, you can go ahead and grab it and drag it down like so. And you'll see that this starts to change the track's volume. And the lower you put it like so, the quieter it'll get. And the higher, obviously, the louder it'll get. So let's go ahead and try something like this. You'll see that right here, it starts to change, it goes down, and then right here at this point, it basically stays the way it is. Now if we take a listen to this, it'll sound a lot better. You'll see it gradually change from high to low volume. <laughs> And the YouTube GS Mouse Smart here today with another brand new Audacity tutorial, and today we're going to look at dynamic volume change. So there you go. It sounds a lot better now. We can hear our voice actually, but we can even make this a little bit lower in volume. And then if you wanted to have the music come back at its maximum volume very easily, we can just go ahead and once again, where do we want it to start increasing again, right around here, one dot there. And about a second and a half, once again, we want it to be at its maximum volume, which is right around here. And then we can just put it back at its maximum, like so. And now when we listen to this section right here, you'll see that it dynamically changes to lower and then to higher again. And the YouTube GS Mouse Smart here. Today we're going to have a brand new Audacity tutorial, and today we're going to look at dynamic volume change. That's basically it. You can do the same thing with an outro. Here I have like a little a pre-recorded outro here. I'm not gonna go over it entirely, but you'll see that here, same thing essentially. Thank you for checking out the video. We have plenty of other Audacity tutorials on the channel. If you wanna check that out, that'd be great. And I'll see you guys next time. So it sounds really nice. You don't have to worry about splitting the audio track and then constantly lowering each piece's volume and trying to figure out how to do it. Envelope tool is great and it sort of adds this uh, this keyframey aspect sort of like Adobe Audition has, but you're still able to do it 
in a free program like this. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it's very helpful to you. It's very useful to me. I actually quite recently uh, figured out how to do this because I was, I was getting tired of dropping in my audio track in Audition because I have Audition as well. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, leave in the comment section below. Plenty of other Audacity tutorials on the channel. If you want to check them out, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, plenty of other, other software tutorials on our channel. So uh, thank you for watching. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.